Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami from civil engineers and today in this video lecture I'm gonna talk about and this is the second video of civil engineering notes part 2 so here are some other uh, important points which I want to discuss in this uh, in this video but this is also specially for site engineer which are working on construction site so let's let's start if the video is helpful for you so must like this video and also subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates so here the first one is in civil engineering notes ASTM so what is the abbreviation or acronym of ASTM in civil engineering so this is uh, our ASTM stand for American Society for Testing Materials this is this company is in America and it uh, it stand for American Society for Testing Materials and in different interview questions they are asking often often they ask this question okay or what's the abbreviation of ASTM or do you know about ASTM okay so it stands for American Society for Testing Materials where they test all the materials its strength and some important and uh, important information for uh, materials okay the second one is grade of concrete is denoted as cement sand and aggregate for example M20 grade which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 so here 1 is cement 1.5 is sand and 3 is aggregate so grade of concrete is denoted as cement sand and aggregate or crush the place of aggregate right the third one is c slash c it means this is the center to center distance between two steel bars especially for main bars and distribution bars it means c slash c means center to center distance for example you can see this it doesn't work properly but i will try right so these are center to center distance this right and also this one from one steel bar center to other center it's called center to center distance right now here the fourth one is lapping of bar not allowed if the dia of steel bar is more than 36 millimeter nrcc slab are also for column are also for beam if you want to provide the lapping length and the diameter of steel bar if it's more than 36 millimeter so you should not provide lapping length are lapping right for circular column minimum of six longitudinal bars are used to don't use minimum six longitudinal bars in circular column right the minimum thickness of rcc slab is 0 0.125 meter 0 0.125 meter is the minimum thickness of rcc slab it should not be less than 0 0.125 meter okay the concrete should not be fall from the height of more than one one meter okay so but this is 1.5 meter not one meter 1.5 meter the concrete should not be fall from the 1.5 meter so otherwise it will make segregation and also bleeding okay and bleeding and segregation can weak the concrete okay now here the other one is the compressive strength of brick first class brick okay which we use for masonry which compressive strength is 3.5 newton per mm square for first class brick right and the other one is the initial sitting time shall not be less than 30 minutes and the final sitting time of the cement is 10 hours okay so we should use the uh, cement okay initial sitting time shall not be less than 30 minutes okay so it should not be less than 30 minutes okay it must be 30 minutes if it is 25 minutes or 20 minutes so you are not able to use those cement okay especially in concrete and uh, full time is 10 hours and the other one is here dead load means self weight of structure sometimes we say calculate the dead load of structure so dead load means self weight of structure right the other one is sand having 
moisture content more than 5% should not be used in concrete mix. If sand is more than 5% moisture, so it is not able to use in concrete mix. Okay. If it is less than 5, 4, 3, 2, so it's okay. It's suitable to use in concrete mix, but it should be not used if the moisture of the sand is more than 5%. Okay. The other one is DPC. So DPC is the acronym or the abbreviation of dam proof course and its thickness should not be less than 2.5 centimeter or 1 inch. Right. So these are some useful points which I have discussed in front of you. So if you have any question about this video, so you just comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.